This image of the Carina Nebula was captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, and the same image was also captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. And it was this. The difference is astounding. This is because James Webb is 100 times better than Hubble and its primary mirror is almost 3 times larger than Hubble's primary mirror, and still James Webb weighs only half as much as Hubble, where Hubble weighs about 27,000 pounds after upgrades, and James Webb weighs only 13,500 pounds thanks to the advancements in science and technology. The Webb telescope's primary mirror appear gold, but they are actually made out of beryllium. There's a gold coating applied to each of the mirrors because gold is extremely reflective of infrared light, better than both aluminum and silver. This telescope took 30 years and $10 billion to build and was finally launched on December 25, 2021, on an Ariane 5 rocket from Kourou, French Guiana. Decolage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. And about 28 minute after liftoff, Webb detached itself from the launch vehicle and began the most complex sequence of deployments ever attempted in a single space mission. It had approximately 344 single points of failure during its 30-day deployment sequence, and if just one of them had failed, the entire telescope would not have been able to function. But everything went perfectly, and after its successful deployment, James Webb arrived at the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point which is a million miles away from Earth, about four times the distance between Earth and the Moon. The whole reason Webb is placed so far away from Earth is to protect the telescope from the light and heat of the Earth, and even the Moon. Webb's optics and its four main scientific instrument need extreme low temperatures to function, where three of its instruments needed a temperature of 37 Kelvin which was achieved by simply positioning the telescope far away from Earth, and adding a massive five-layered sun shield, but the fourth instrument required a temperature of less than 7 Kelvin, for which NASA added cryogenic cooling on board which also helped to protect the telescope from its own heat. Now James Webb was ready to carry out its mission. One of the James Webb science goals is to look back through time to when galaxies were young. And James Webb can look about 13.6 billion light years away in space, which means it is looking 13.6 billion years back into the past. While the Hubble telescope collects images in mostly visible light, the specialty of the James Webb Space Telescope is its infrared vision, which will be able to see the very first stars and galaxies forming out of the darkness of the early universe. And these infrared lights can even pierce through through cosmic gas dust and make stars visible behind them. But why do we need infrared vision to see the very first galaxy and stars? Nearly 13.6 billion years ago, the light from those very first stars and galaxies started its journey toward us, and by the time it reached us, this light got stretched, and its wavelength became redder due to the expansion of the universe, causing it to become infrared light, and James Webb is specially designed to detect this infrared light, and capture some cool photos of the early universe for us. James Webb will help us understand the immense structures of galaxies and dark matter that span the cosmos, how the universe is built and evolves, the formation of planetary systems, and much more. But how long will James Webb be with us? The JWST was expected to operate for 5 to 10 years after its launch. However, thanks to a successful and precise launch, NASA announced that the JWST should have enough fuel to more than double its minimum mission life expectancy of 10 years. Sure 5 to 10 years is enough time to learn a tremendous amount about the universe and discover unknowns that we have perhaps not even imagined. But it seems a pity that Webb's lifetime after all of this effort will be so finite. Unfortunately the observatory won't be able to operate forever, although mostly solar-powered, the JWST needs a small amount of finite fuel to maintain its orbit and instruments. So is there any hope? Yes. Although it wasn't designed to be serviced and upgraded, it could potentially be robotically refueled to extend its life. It's possible but difficult. There is a refueling port on JWST that if accessed, can be used to refuel it using an unmanned probe, and then the James Webb mission's lifetime could be extended by a decade or more with each refuel. There is a possibility that NASA could perform this operation before Webb reaches the end of its life, presumably in the early 2030s. And if James Webb operates exactly as planned and doesn't suffer any serious damage, it may be the greatest foolishness not to pursue that option. That is all for today, thanks for watching.